good morning. How you doing? How do I look? Where is my entourage? Where are those people? Got to get myself all fixed up. I look all right. Hey, say this with me today on this happy Thursday. Say the rest of my life is the best of my life. <clears throat> you know, there was not a lot of enthusiasm with that. Try it again. <clears throat> the rest of my life is the best of my life. Amen. Hey, did you get your book yet? The Power of Positive Words. This is absolutely the second most important book you will ever read. And every time you send in a donation this month, we're going to send you one of these books. Because I want you not only to have one of these books, but I want you to have extra. Because <clears throat> some of you folks, uh, some of you people donate every week or some of them even several times a week. And that's wonderful. I'm going to send you a book every time you donate because then you will have them to give to your family and friends. Or you can order them in bulk, which some people are doing. <clears throat> People are doing that for their prayer groups. People are doing that for their businesses. And so these books are available in bulk at a discounted price. Just call me or text me and ask me about that. Hey, I want to talk to you today about two ways to get miracle debt cancellation. Two ways to get miracle debt cancellation. Now, let's define miracle debt cancellation. If you owe $300,000 in debt, if you're $300,000 in debt, and you know what? A lot of people are. A lot of people have, you know, the average person in this country is twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 in debt just with their credit cards. And then you have a big mortgage and that adds to it. It adds up to $300,000 pretty easy. You, you can get up to 300000 Then you put a car in there. Car's worth, what, twenty or $30,000. So you owe on a car. You got credit card debt. The two of those is probably sixty or $70,000. And then you add a big mortgage on top of that. You're three, four, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 in debt. A lot of people are. What you need is miracle debt cancellation. Now, to define miracle debt cancellation, you'd have to say, that that would be anything, anything other than normal debt payoff. Anything other than, than paying off your debt in a normal way. So if you owe all this money on your credit cards and you pay your credit cards down like Dave Ramsey and Crown Financial will always tell you, pay off the smallest one first. That's how to pay off your credit cards. You pay off the smallest one first. Then you pay on the next one. You make the payment on the next one as well as pay the money that you were paying on the smallest one. Once you get the second one paid off, then you pay on the third one and you pay the normal payment on the third one plus add the money from the first one and the second one to that. It won't be long and that gets paid off. Then the next one. Many people have five, six, seven, eight credit cards and you go through them like that. Starting with the smallest first and working your way up to the biggest. And you'll get them paid off. And if you do that in a normal way, that is normal debt cancellation. That's normal debt. Not so much cancellation, but payoff. Now, we have had so many people in our church and in this ministry receive debt cancellation where it just goes away. One lady, uh, actually two ladies in our church whose husband, husbands had died. One of them owed $500,000 because her husband had, experienced, had, had received experimental treatment, which didn't work. He was not believing God for his healing either. He was believing for this experimental treatment. So she owed five hundred, dollars and the insurance companies refused to pay it. And so she came to me about it. I said, you know what? In the name of Jesus, they are going to change their mind and pay off that debt for you. 
No way. Because it was experimental. They didn't have to pay it. But you know what they did? They did. They decided to pay it off. She got it all paid off. Another lady whose husband had died owed a lot of money in medical bills. She went to the hospital to see about it, to the office. They couldn't find it. Remember that, Mary? Yeah. They couldn't find it. They said, I don't know what's going on here, but we don't have any record of you owing us any money. It, everything shows a zero balance. Now, some, that was not because somebody walked in and paid her bill for her. That happens once in a while, too. But this was not because somebody paid off her bill. It just wasn't there. They said, you're all set with us. We're all set here. I don't know what's going on, but somehow or another, it's all set. You think she wasn't jumping up and down, I got news for you. Huh? <clears throat> so we have seen this. Mary and I, and I'll, 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 I think I'm going to wait just a, just a minute to tell you about this. The first way to receive miracle debt cancellation is, and Mary guessed it this morning, what is that, Mary? Speaking to it. Speak to your debt. Speak to your debt. Now, I know that we're talking about prayer, and we're talking about uh, five ways to get your prayers answered, but this is not a prayer. You don't pray about debt. Oh, Lord, help me with this debt. How many of you know that you're not supposed to pray about anything that is bad. If it's good, you ask God for it. If it's bad, you speak to it. Amen. Jesus has already done everything for you that he's going to do. He's not going to take anything bad out of your life. Amen. Amen. That includes the devil, that includes sickness, that includes debt. No, you have to do it yourself. Remember when Paul said in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, he says that, that he asked God three times to take this, remove this thorn, this person who was harassing him. And God said, my grace is sufficient for you. He didn't tell Paul to, to just live with it. He told him to take care of it himself. You take care of it. And Paul, in Acts chapter 16, remember, he turns around and he says to the woman, he says, come out of her in the name of Jesus. Paul got rid of the thorn himself. He wound up in jail for it. But he got rid of it. Amen? So debt is not something you pray about. Debt is something you speak to. And if you need help with this, you call me today. I'll speak against your debt. I'll curse that debt. I will tell your debt to leave you in the name of Jesus. After that, all you need to do is be quiet and let it dry up. And believe me, it will dry up. It will dry up. The first way to get rid of debt is tell it to leave. But you have to be operating at a, at a very high level of faith in the name of Jesus to do that. If you're not operating in that level, that's okay. That's what we're here for. Because faith is transferable. Remember? We can use our faith to get your debt canceled. And I will do it in a heartbeat because I think debt is evil. It is bondage. We break that bondage of debt. Causes stress in people's lives. Causes anxiety and fear and people calling you all the time and banging on your phone. and No, no, no. No, we get rid of that. Number two way of doing it is to receive the blessing of God upon your life. That's how Mary and I did it. $300,000 in debt. And in five months after we received the blessing of God upon our lives, 295000 of it was gone. The only thing we owed 
was maybe another four or $5,000 on our car, and we chose to just pay that off monthly, but we could have at any time written a check for the balance of it. That is being debt-free. And now we're completely debt-free. Glory to God. Amen? One small loan that we've kind of co-signed it is a little deal. $140 a month payment. Amen? For a brand new car. That ain't too bad, huh? Which we could pay that off today if we wanted to. Glory to God. That is being debt-free, folks. But it didn't come without speaking to our debt. I call you paid in the name of Jesus. I curse you in Jesus' name. I tell you to leave right now. That's how you get rid of debt. Or you get the blessing of God upon you. Because I'm telling you what, when the blessing of God comes upon you, your debt will dry up. Because when the blessing of God comes into your life, it pushes out everything that is bad. And debt is bad. It's horrible. How simple is this? You don't have to live in debt. You don't have to live in stress and under the curse of the law. I'm telling you what, we can break that in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, we break the curse of the law in people's lives. Depression and stress and anxiety goes away. All you got to do is be quiet. I'm telling you, this, this is so simple. Don't trip over it. Don't trip over it. The name of Jesus is so powerful, we can speak to an entire the Lord spoke to me. He says, what's the difference if, I, if you get one person healed or a thousand at the same time? I spoke over a church of 2,000 people. Everybody in the building got healed. Glory to God. That's because of the power in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Huh? Is that good? Hey, don't forget, when you make an offering to this ministry or you tithe to this ministry, I'm going to send you this book. We have been sending out tons of these books. Every day, the mailbox is full of these books. Or we get so many of them, we have to take them to the post office. This book is going all over the country. I want everybody to have a copy of this book. Glory to God, huh? Hey, go out there today. Make it a great day. And remember this. <clears throat> the rest of your life is the best of your life. Say that every day. Every night when we go to bed, we say, tomorrow will be better than today. And the rest of our life is the best of our life. Make it a great day. Make it a happy Thursday. Tell somebody about Jesus today. Can you do that for me? Just tell somebody about Jesus. Share these videos with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know about this book, The Power of Positive Words. I keep holding it up because I want you to see it. You should have this yellow book. Amen. We had some people here a couple of weeks ago. Uh, from uh, further up north and he works at Amazon and he said he watches our books go through on the on the belt. How about that, huh? Isn't that wonderful? That people all over the world are getting these books. Glory to God. The rest of your life is the best of your life. Have a great day today and remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body and pay your bills. <laughs>